and oh, let me start recording. All right, welcome. Today is a live Q&A. This is Charles Murray with Elite Sales Coaching. Um, today I'm going to be answering questions uh, from real estate agents all across the country. And we're just getting set up here, so uh, give me a second. We'll make sure everything is set up and running. Let's see. Chat box. Okay. All right. So let me just give a little brief introduction for some of those people who may be um, new to what we do over here. Um, wait a second, let me just set up right here quick. All right, yeah, we're just going to roll into Zoom. I'm not going to do the um, Facebook and Instagram Live right now. We're just going to focus on the Zoom. All right. <clears throat> So let's let's just talk about um, while while a few more people are coming in here and questions start coming in, let's just talk about real estate. That's why we're here. Um, real estate is a great way to make a lot of money. It's a great way to build wealth. Um, it's a great way to be your own boss to start a company, um, to be in control of your own schedule. Okay. But a lot of agents fail in their business. And so I'm just going to talk about what we do at Elite Sales Coaching and why that's different and how it's helping people to add twenty-five dollars to $50,000 in 90 days or less and um, what makes us unique or different from what everyone else is doing. So first of all, the conversation that we have is most important. Okay, so if you are... In sales, the only thing that you really have is communication. Even in marketing, it's all communication, right? So we start there, right? It starts with education. It starts with having a plan, right? It also starts with your ability to build something. So incorporated in what we do at Elite Sales Coaching, right? We have blueprints, we have flowcharts, we have strategies, and we have real conversations. I don't teach you about uh, regurgitating other people's scripts. Um, we teach you the art and the science and the knowledge of real estate. Because ultimately, the program is not designed for somebody who wants to be in real estate for 20 years. Um, this program is designed for somebody who wants to use real estate as a financing mechanism to fulfill their goals and dreams, no matter what that is, right? If you have debt, yeah, you can pay off your debt, right? But you're, you're not living your life just paying off debt. So this, has, this, has to, this conversation has to do with like becoming alive again, like becoming excited about something that makes you want to wake up in the morning, that makes you want to smile, that, ma that makes you want to genuinely smile, not smile on the outside externally, but like smile on the inside from a place of calm or a place of resolve or a place of fulfillment or a place of or purpose. So I asked, you know, I asked a lot of agents, like, why did you get into real estate? Um, you know, and because most people aren't really clear. And that's, that's actually one of the number one fundamentals is just being clear. But so when I asked real estate, you know, uh, real estate agents, why did you get into real estate? Like, what was your purpose? Like, what was your intention when you got in there? Or, you know, why are you in real estate? Or what are some of your goals? And a lot of people end up invariably saying, well, I just want to help people. Okay, so... Again, that's not a very clear statement, but if you want to help people, you can um, do charity work, really. You know, it's, oh, it's not about the money. It's, it's about just helping people, right? Well, I get the paradox, right? Because on one end it is, but on another it's not. One end it's your business, but on another end you get fulfillment out of helping people. So how do we marry the two together, right? Well, in order to marry the two together, because you can make a lot of money in real estate by helping people, and that's the real reason you do help. That's the real reason you are going to make a lot of money. But then we have to talk about how do you help people, right? Because there's a variation or a distinction between helping people by being nice and, and just doing work that's not going to make you any money, but you feel like you're giving your time and your energy, right? So it's like a, it's like a, a false belief or a pretty lie. 
or like, yeah, I just, but I'm helping people and um, you feel like you're working, but you're really not. So what we do is we actually get into what is the actual mathematics? What is the science that creates change or creates results in your business? Because if you look at the term mathematics, which uh, stems from a Greek word, mathetika, which uh, originates to study and knowledge and science, right? Science is, um, again, science is knowledge. So what is all, all these things revolve around, around knowledge, right? So science, we talk about math, we talk about science, and they're both the same thing. It's the actual knowledge. If you look further into the definition of mathematics, it's the actual study of change, quantity, space, and uh, most, well, actually, the most important thing is it's actually the study of change. So when we talk about the mathematics of success, we're talking about what is the exact knowledge and the science of how things change. So when we come from a place about we want to change our business, we want to get more money, we want to get more results, right? We want to have more people talking to us. That's all change. So if we're not talking about mathematics, which is the knowledge and the study of how things change in life, period, space, quantity, right? Numbers is quantity, right? You want more money, that's more quantity. How do we change things? Let me just give you a simple, uh, let me just give you a simple example or analogy that you can connect the, the knowledge to, right? So if we're talking about mathematics is the study of change, how will we apply that on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, when we talk about building your business, the only time you're building your business is when you're talking to people who want to buy and sell real estate. That's, that's the math right there. That's the knowledge and that's the science. Meaning that if you're in office meetings, if you're working on designing flyers, if you're just uh, sitting around the office, right, waiting for something to happen, like you're not building your business. So when you have somebody who's operating off of uh, science and knowledge, that's uh, principles that are proven to work every single time versus somebody who's just wandering around, hoping for something to happen, waiting for something to fall in their lap. Well, that's the difference. And then that's why I can help you add 25 to $50,000 in 90 days or less for sure, because it's mathematical, but you got to meet me halfway. You got to do the commitment. You got to be, committed to making that type of change. Math is a study of change. You wanna change the numbers in your bank account, that's the quantity. So you just gotta be committed to making that, that change. And if you're committed, then all you need is the knowledge, right? So a lot of people don't have the right information, but they're committed. So if you're learning the wrong things and you're trying to apply the wrong things, you're not gonna get the right results. So you gotta have the knowledge, you gotta have the right information. And the information has to be impactful and it has to change things. It has to give you the ability to start getting the things that you want in your, in your, your life. Okay. The next thing is you have to be able to study it, learn how to study and understand it. And then you have to learn how to apply it. And then that's where it becomes the wisdom. Okay. So this is a dialogue that we have. If you like the dialogue that you hear, you'll understand why, um, I, I created, I generated over $7 million in revenues in less than 15 months, all from cold calling, no referrals, no, um, center of influence, right? This is all cold calling and it was part time because when you operate from a place of like knowledge and science, you can actually do a lot less work and get a lot more work done faster. And that's what this is about. So just imagine if you're speaking to somebody who wants to buy and sell real estate, and you're speaking to them, to them in a way that they start to see, feel, and realize that you're coming from a place of intelligence, strategy, knowledge, and science, and math, where it's calculated, because we're dealing with money, right? So let's talk about what real estate is. Real estate is not just selling somebody's house. A lot of it isn't even, isn't even really the property itself, which is the improvement. Right, so we'll get into that a little bit later, but real estate is architecture, it's art, it's architecture, okay? It's law. When we get into law, we're talking about, it's the contract, it's the agreement, it's the listing agreement, it's the commission agreement, it's the referral agreement, 
It's the notice to perform. It's all of that, right? But it's more than that. It's the deed. It's the type of deed. It's the recording. See, it's the paperwork. It's the contracts. <clears throat> it's the entities that own or it's the entities that the, per the property is purchased in. So I have some of my clients that are going through certain situations where if they make more money, it actually hurts their, their life overall in general, right? But there are different strategies if you understand real estate and if you understand law. And if you understand real estate law, then you understand that you can maneuver and structure yourself in a way to where it benefits you at a high level. So when we talk about real estate and we talk about the aspect of law, it's basically one of the most important aspects of law. Who would you rather hire? Would you rather hire someone that comes in and talks about um, their flyers and, and how they can put it on the MLS? Or would you rather talk to someone who understands the legal ramifications of agreements and contracts and negotiations through the agreements and tying them down and being able to enforce those agreements? All right? So it's art, architecture, it's law, and it's finance. So let's talk about finance. When, so the, ultimately, we're talking about how do you build your real estate business? This is how you build your real estate business. You have to master the field of real estate knowledge. And if you think that it's just the house or you're, you're focused on the wrong thing, so you're not going to get the type of business that I teach that you can design quickly within 90 days. It don't take years. Um, so let's talk about finance. Finance is purchasability. It's underwriting. It's also credit. It's ratios, debt to income ratios. Okay. So your ability to understand finance, your ability to understand purchasing, your ability to pre-qualify potential buyers, your ability to help buyers who may be close to being qualified to buy something could be an extra commission for you. Economics. We're talking about economics. How does economics play into real estate? Well, first of all, economics has to do with the production, the consumption, and the transfer of wealth. Marketplace. All marketplaces have to deal with the production, the consumption, and transfer of wealth. How does that relate to real estate? How many homes are being built? When there's a new development, that's the production, right? Consumption, how many homes are on the market? How fast are homes selling? Consumption, transfer of wealth. When people are passing away, is the property going into probate? Uh, when people are going through divorce, how is the property being transferred? Is there a will? Is there a trust? Is there an argument? Is it uh, worked out? Okay, so these are just some of the things, right? But if you don't know these things, how can you help somebody? So if you know these things and you help them and you're knowledgeable in these things, you have tremendous value. And what speeds up your business is by increasing your value. And so what I do and elite, elite sales coaching is we help you build your value in a tangible way. It's not just say you're more valuable or just pump yourself up egotistically. You can actually back it up with real knowledge and skills and mathematics and science and practical application to get the results. So that's what we do. If, if this conversation is interesting to you and you'd like to learn more about how to apply that, uh, then join the Facebook group, Real Estate Agents, adding $25,000 to $50,000 or more in 90 days or less. Okay, we're going to also have some courses coming out. I'm going to be doing some boot camps um, on sales training, uh, the equitable deal, structuring deals, um, all skill development. Okay, so let's continue here. Uh, last, we have arithmetic. Okay, so arithmetic is just basic math. Yeah. 
And the great thing about this is you don't, you only need basic arithmetic. You don't need advanced calculations and formulas. If you can add, divide, subtract, and multiply, that's all you need. You just got to be really good at it and make sure that you're doing the math so that you can get the result that you want. Because again, mathematics is the study and the science of how things change. It's the quantity in the space, the measurement. Okay, so I got a question here. Questions are coming in. Um, I got a question here from uh, James. James says, what's the most important thing to work on uh, try, when you're trying to get new clients? That's a good question. And um, in one of my courses, we talk about the mathematics of success. Um, yeah, the mathematics of success. And we talk about applying mathematics to all the different ways that you can generate business, right? So you can do NODs, you can go for divorces, you can go for um, like probate, you can do farming, you can do NODs. Uh, I think I said that. You can do uh, for sale by owners, you can do expired, you can do farming. You can go inside of banks and sit there and offer, you can do seminars. So you have all these different things that you can come up with and that you can do, right? Um, <clears throat> Tom Ferry is really big on, you can spend a lot of money in advertisements and buy leads, uh, which I don't, I don't really agree with that because um, I've seen a lot of agents spending like 10, $20,000 a month on a bunch of buyer leads. And a lot of those leads are not good and it's a lot of money to have coming out your your business on a regular monthly basis then you have to have a lot of people that can manage them they're also selling those leads to other people and um yeah i'm sure you will close business but then you got to deduct all the the money you spent every month if you're spending 20, 10 20 30 thousand dollars a month um, and it takes you three months and then you do a hundred thousand dollars worth of business, but you spent $90,000. That's not very profitable. So I don't, I don't really recommend that. What I recommend is learning the knowledge and learning the skills. Okay. So what I recommend is, uh, when, you, when you're working to get new clients, you got to find people that are, who's most likely to buy and sell real estate. Uh, well, let's let's just look at it real quick. We know that the for sale by owners advertising that they want to sell, so we know for sure that they want to sell. We know the expired listing wanted to sell. That's why they had their house on the on the, uh, on the market, and they were also willing to pay a commission agreement. Um, and so that's what I recommend. Actually, I recommend for sale by owner, which is FISBO, fastest source of business opportunity, and the expired. Now, it's not the easiest though. So let's just make that distinction. The people that I'm interested in working with and the people that succeed with me, right? My ideal perfect clients. Who are your ideal perfect clients? You gotta ask yourself, right? I, some people, they wanna do farming. Farming works, but it, it's, it's a three to five, seven, 10 year process. So if you see yourself being in the business for 10, 15, 20 years, and you don't mind cultivating a lead for several years, hoping that they'll remember you when they're ready to sell, when their kids graduate, then that's what's best for you. I'm interested in working with people who want to make 25, who want to add 25 to $50,000 in new business, fresh business, cold business, uh, within 90 days or less to transform and change your life around. So you got to ask yourself, what is your purpose in your business? What do you want to achieve and what are your goals? I'm looking to work with people who are highly ambitious, who are competitive and who, are, who uh, have big goals. Because if they have big goals, then it's worth the hard work. If you have little goals like, oh, I just want to survive, oh, I just don't want to have to work a nine to five, or I just want to, um, you know, just pay my bills, there's no way that you're going to want to do the work that's required to transform your life in, in 90 days or less. So the question really is up to you. It's really about how long, what do you want to accomplish? Why are you in real estate? What's your purpose for your work? Why are you in real estate? What is your purpose for your work? What is your goal? When you, when you make the money that you want, what exactly are you gonna do and does that excite you? Because this is an energy game. You gotta have excitement. People need to feel energy coming from you, emotion. Energy and motion, excitement. So when you're speaking to somebody and you have goals and you're energetic and you're looking forward to your future, 
they're going to feel that resonating off of you and that's going to be very attractive. So the most important thing to work on when trying to get new clients is becoming very attractive from the inside. And you do that by having strategic goals or having goals that are going to inspire you. They're going to excite you. That's going to make it worth, worth the hard work. Right. And that's what we do in the program. Um, that's one of the very first things that we do. And the majority of the work and the results that you get is all based around how clear, how much energy, how much time you put into your goal strategy. Okay. That's a good question. Um, so that's what I recommend working on yourself. But obviously if someone just says, well, work on yourself, like what does that mean? That's very vague. So that's why we actually have a structure. Okay. Uh, but what I would say is get clear on your goals. Once you get clear on your goals and the time frames that you want to make your money in, um, then you start to source business where that those type of transactions actually take place. So with dealing with expires, dealing with for sale by owners, um, you can close deals in, a, in, in three weeks to 90 days consistently. Um, divorces, who knows? Probate, who knows? Because sometimes the court's involved. Sometimes they got too many people trying to make decisions. Farming is a long cycle. A lot of times the people will sell when they get their kids graduate. Sometimes they don't. Um, it's just a long business. It's a very passive business. So you don't have to face rejection. Um, and one of the things that we do in, in elite sales training is we teach you how to remove the fear of rejection. I teach you how to re remove rejection from being a possibility in your experience and also teach you how to be the rejector. So if someone's saying, well, I want to make more money, but that's harder to do, it's only harder to do until you get the skills where it becomes easy. And that's where, becomes, that's where the value comes in, right? So the most important thing to do is just work on yourself, have knowledge, have strategy, and have a game plan, okay? Um, and if you'd like some more information on that, you can um, shoot me an email and then we can, we can talk about it. Uh, Yvette asks, what are some things I can do to compete against some of the big agents who have a presence in my local area with like build, big billboards and, you know, they, they already have a presence there? That's, a, <clears throat> that's another great question because when you first come into real estate, if you've been into real estate and people have more capital or they're buying business like Tom Ferry agents, um, yeah, and you can buy business if you have the pockets and if you're set up that way, it works. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's just that not everybody has that. And more importantly, if you're buying business, but you don't have the skills to close people, then a lot of that money gets wasted, right? Um, but it, it, is, it is effective and it does work. And if you do have a strategy and you do have the funds to do it and you can make the return, I do recommend doing it because it, it will give you an advantage. It gives you a bigger perception. Um, but let's just talk about what are some of the things that you can do to compete against some of the agents who may have dominated a local market area. They have billboards. Their name's always um, on new, new street signs in the, in the, in the, in the marketplace. So I will, I will say this. Learn to become an area expert in 45 minutes or less. Okay. So uh, we have a training where we do uh, how to become an area expert in 45 minutes or less. A little a little background about me. I started off as a real estate appraiser in New York City back in 1999. And what I learned through the strategies and the philosophies and the principles of appraising um, allows you to become an area expert in 45 minutes or less. Because the thing with real estate is it's a local market, right? The neighborhood is a local market. Then you have competing neighborhoods that are right there. But a neighborhood in, let's just say, Dallas versus a neighborhood in like Fort Worth. They're not the same. Those are two different marketplaces, right? So when you increase your knowledge and you increase your value, all you have to do is just talk to people. If you let the idea that because people have a bigger presence in the marketplace that they have more of an advantage than you, then in, in essentially what you have done is you defeated yourself. But the reality is, is that when you're speaking to somebody, you don't know if they're, what they're thinking. And what I teach you in elite sales coaching, where we train people is, sales is about change, how to change people's minds. So somebody may be, well, oh, well, I want to work with them because they have big billboards and they have all this big reputation. They look like they're the market experts. 
But through dialogue and through strategic conversation, you can change your mind and you can influence them. Right. So when I first started as a licensed agent, I mean, I've been selling real estate, you know, for like, since like 2001, you know, like doing investments, doing deals here and there. But being licensed as um, a real estate professional in California, um, when I first started, I didn't have a track record. Right. The first deal that I closed was my first open house. Uh, it was a million dollar deal. I had to negotiate all the way through off and on. But then after that, I, there were all listings. So I, I had to study what was the listing process. I didn't understand the in, insides and outs. So I spent 40 hours after I closed my first open house, right, for a million dollars, negotiated the whole deal, closed it. I jumped into real estate full time because I was working other sales jobs that I didn't like. And then when I came into real estate full time, I wanted to be a listing agent. I didn't want to be a buyer's agent. Buyers are liars. You have no leverage. And um, it requires more skills to be a listing agent. And also, if you can become a listing agent, you'll always have buyers. So what I did was I took 40 hours and I studied everyone's listing presentations. Daniel Pennington's, the offices, other people's. I'm just looking at it. I'm like, what is all this? Like, what is this 100 pages, 90 pages, 70 pages? And I just went through it. I'm like, what are we really trying to accomplish? What, what do they really need to know? What are we really trying to do in this presentation to get them to hire us? And then so after 40 hours, I understood it inside and out, backwards and forwards, right? And I just threw everything away and I created my own process. What this did was it allowed me to have a lot of value. And when I was speaking to people, I could influence them and change their minds because I was clear about my strategies and my techniques and what they really wanted and how to answer those questions. So to answer your question, where's... What are some things you can do to compete uh, against some of the bigger, the bigger giants in your marketplace? Just realize that there is no competition. The only competition is with yourself. And every day you're competing with yourself because you're starting over from scratch. So some of the things that you can do is actually study the field of real estate. I have a blueprint um, that I use that I help create agents to unlock the, the code to, to retail residential. Right, so when you understand the four right angles of the deal, when you understand the right order, you understand like where to focus, where to build your knowledge that has the most value, that actually makes deals come together, right? How to structure a deal to where the probability of it closing is so high that your deals just close. They don't fall apart during escrow, right? Um, so study, study. Perfect, perfect your scripts and your strategies, perfect your conversation, study the psychology of sales and how people make decisions, right? Um, invest in yourself. That, those are some of the things that you can do. Invest in yourself, hire a coach. It doesn't have to be me. Hire a coach that's smarter than you that can teach you advantages and angles and skill sets and techniques that work. And what you realize is that all you need to do is just talk to people. And if you're attractive from the inside and your presentation is attractive and your mind is sharp and you have a, a small strategy, a smart strategy, um, then people don't really care at the end of the day. Because at the end of the day, people aren't really buying a brand. They're not buying a name. They're buying you. So the better that you can show up, the more attractive that you are. And that's a whole... <clears throat> study on itself and we'll cover a lot of that in the coaching is that what's your strategy for starting your day? What's your strategy for what you're going to, how you, what's your strategy for your intro? How do you master your introduction? How are you mastering objections? How are you master, mastering closing technique? Right? What is your, how are you mastering how you're adding value, irresistible value? Okay, so those are just some of the things. That's a really good question um, because a lot of people do get intimidated, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. When you're in front of somebody or when you're talking to somebody, you have the ability to influence and change how they see you. And if they have confidence in you, then they'll be attracted to you and then they will hire you regardless of, of the big agents. Okay. Uh, Richard asks, what is the model that I teach that um, gets agents to twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars 
um, in 90 days or less? That's a good question. Give me just one second. I'm going to turn off this. Thing. Okay, so the model uh, that I implement to help agents get 25 to $50,000 or more in 90 days or less is it's the blueprint, right? <clears throat> it's the blueprint that has the most important factors and qualities inside of a sales conversation. Or I should say inside of the conversation is really designed to orchestrate and construct agreements that, uh, that attract a strong qualified buyer get the most money for the property and close the deal in the map in the most uh quickest time right so the model that i'm teaching is it's a mathematical equation so we talk about the three components of a bond we talk about the four right angles of a deal we talk about what is the most powerful angle or right angle in the deal structure how does that right angle uh, give you value, attract value, attract a strong qualified buyer, attract the the money, um, and then also attract the the home seller that's willing to work with you. How do we use the right angles that will take a for sale by owner who's only looking to hire a buyer's agent and then switch it around in their mind where they start seeing you as a high valuable listing agent, right? So this is all incorporated into the model. It's, um, it can all be done within eight weeks, eight weeks, eight weeks. So, and then also what we do is I teach you what to focus on and what not to focus on, right? So we talk about uh, energy management, time management, your mindset, um, you know, what are activities that build your business or what are activities that kill your business, okay? So if you're spending too much time in meetings or if you're going to meetings, period, that's killing your business. I haven't seen any meeting where they give you any real skill set or knowledge to build your business. Like no real strategy. So the model incorporates all the components and the structures from being organized and like what that means, right? So for example, um, having a dedicated email where you don't have all your personal emails and all the stuff that just, just stri strictly for your real estate business. Having a dedicated cell phone or phone line that's strictly for prospecting so that you're not getting interrupted with text messages or other phone calls, but you're not missing things. So part of the model is like, how do you focus? Because when you, when you focus, well, as you all know, right? In physics and math, the fastest, the fastest, um, the fastest direction from point A to B is a straight line, and that's what focuses is a straight line. So I'm giving you the, the straight line patterns that create focus that take you right to your business, and then we cut out all the other stuff. Another thing, a, a lot of part of the model too is working on yourself. So a lot of my clients, the majority of what's holding them back in their business isn't their ability to conduct business in real estate. A lot of the biggest blockages that I help clients with that opens up the doors to them being able to generate 25 to 50 grand in 90 days or less, or just to create more abundance in their business is working on their personal life. To get out of this straight jacket of being a martyr or being nice to everybody, letting people take advantage of your time, being afraid to say no, being, being, able to, being able to say, I'm not interested, that doesn't work for me. No, thank you. Don't call me, I'm not interested, I'm doing my plan. I have my strategy, this is what I'm doing. I'm not interested. A lot of people struggle with being able to say no. So we work on that. We work on what is, what is the psychology behind why you feel like you can't say no to somebody? Why do you feel like you're gonna hurt somebody's feelings? If you can't rectify that, if you can't handle that, if you can't address that, I would never let someone represent my, my uh, interest on a, a real estate transaction or a financial matter, period. Because when you talk about banking, when you talk about contracts, they don't care about your feelings. They just care about the agreement and whose favor is that agreement written in. So if you're worried about how you're making other people feel, friends, family, 
uh, I, I can't tell them no, or they keep inviting me out to, to go do this caravan. I don't really want to do it. And, and then, but I don't want to hurt this. Like all that stuff right there, you're wasting energy. And then you're also producing fear, which is very unattractive. And you're not building your inner spirit up of who you are as a salesperson or who you are as a human being in general. So a lot of the work that we do in the program is more personal. It's really personal development. Setting up the business model and, and the structure and all that stuff is very, um, it doesn't take that long, right? The actual business model that we use to generate business is going to probably cost you about $250 or less. Well, I don't know what business, what other business you could have a, an overhead of $250 a month and make $50,000, $100,000, right? In 90 days, 180 days by just paying 250 a month. So the business model works, the mathematics are there, the science is there, the principles are there. But a lot of the work needs to be done with what's going on on the inside, right? We have to shake off a lot of false beliefs. We have to um, work on our emotions. We have to work on our mindset. We have to work on how we're approaching our business and how we're approaching um, our relationships, right? And this is all where the sales process takes. It's all in the influence. Okay, so that's a great question, uh, Richard. Um, last question, Christine asks, do you recommend spending money on Zillow and internet leads as a way to build your business? And I, I already answered that earlier, um, but it all really depends. For the most part, if you're a newer agent or if, you don't, if you're not making like $250,000, $500,000 a year, um, or if you, if you, see the thing is, I, I just, I don't really believe that. I don't, I don't think that that's a good investment for the most part. If you have a team, if you have a brokerage, okay, here's, here's, here's what I will say. If, if, if there's a broker who has strong agents in their office, right? I would think that would be a, a could be a good investment because <clears throat> a broker that's helping you with leads, a broker that's helping you build your business, it's probably the only broker that I would agree with um, paying them a commission. Okay. If your broker isn't helping you with leads, if they're not helping you generate business, um, you know, like say, Hey, hey I have this lead. Let's work it together. I'm busy, but you know, I want to make sure you're building your business or, Hey, I'm investing in 20, $30,000 a month in Zillow leads and, and other types of internet marketing leads. You work them. Yeah. That has a lot of value to you as an agent, right? Because, He's helping you get into touch with people who are looking to buy or sell. No matter what the quality is, there's an investment, right? So you have to look at your, your relationship and you have to look at everything you do as an investment. What is the return? That's ultimately the question. And then what is your current financial position? Okay. So um, if you haven't mastered being a listing agent, if you haven't mastered the sales process of it, I would say um, no. If you have mastered that and you're expanding your team, and you, you know you're you're moving to a brokerage, um, then yes, yeah, right? Or yeah, if you have if you're not just working by yourself and you have a team, and you know, let's just say like there's agents who've been in the business for like ten years and they have a certain amount of referral business that comes in, even, although it's not predictable, they have a certain amount that they can rely on, and now they're building their team. They're, they're willing to expand their team. Um, I think that's a great way to add value. Okay. Um, so it really just depends on where you're at in your business. Um, so yes, every Thursday for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing live Q and A's. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me um, at info at elitesalescoaching.com. I'm going to be um, sending out in the live Facebook group uh, different programs that we're going to be launching. I'm going to start getting back into doing, um, you know, weekend seminars and eight eight hour events to really build the skills for people. So even if you can't afford the, uh, the coaching program, at least you can still be in an environment with like-minded people. You can start learning the skills that can help you get those next one or two deals together so you can make a bigger investment into your skill development and your knowledge that will take you hopefully into investment or into converse commercial um, and, and help you fulfill your goals and dreams a lot faster. So uh, you guys have a productive day and I will talk to you soon.